So before I start, I just want to remind everybody that when you come up here, please use the word of the day. If you don't, you will not be qualified. And let's speak between one minute and if you like two minutes. Why not? <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do, the person that I called out here will come here, take a moment to smell something. First, describe the scent to everybody, what you're smelling. <laughs> Second, I want you to share an experience, a friendship, a moment in your life that makes sense. Fellow Toastmasters, Madam Table Topic Master, you look quite gregarious tonight. We are part of this triad of transformation. And this scent, at first, the first thing that came to my mind was sushi. <laughs> and it smells like ginger. I know ginger does not have scent. But ginger, you have quite a scent. <laughs> but this scent could be described in many ways. If you smelled it, Brian, it probably could smell like the ocean. I think and with any scent, it depends on your life and what you've experienced. But right now, this scent, I was hoping it was going to be a plumeria because I love plumeria. So I was trying to figure out a way how this could be a plumeria, but it's not. What it is, Oh, there it is. Okay, sometimes you can't get that scent on the first whiff. You gotta keep whiffing it in. Oh, there it is. Oh, now it's coming up into my eyes and starting to tingle. I feel like I'm gonna fly. So, what does that mean? I feel light on my feet. I feel like I'm flying in the sky and I'm gonna land it right now. <laughs> It's wafting overpowering you. <laughs> That's what this is. I think I want to say this is eucalyptus, maybe? Strong. And it, in fact, kind of makes your eyes water, much like our friend here was saying. Yeah, gosh. You know, the thing that, uh, that makes me feel like when you smell it, very calming and relaxing. When you inhale it, I think typically people put it under their, their, uh, on their lip or underneath their, know, one of their lobes or something. And that allows you to relax and um, to feel more at peace. And so I think that's what they use these people with this for. And it's quite interesting. But I'll tell you, I don't necessarily feel relaxed around my grandmother. <laughs> She's not quite gregarious. <laughs> no. Back on my clothes. 
Um, I remember the, that specific batch of clothes. Uh, they were one of my like, favorite pairs of clothing, actually. There was nice slate of Hawaiian shirts, very colorful, um, and also a great pair of jeans. And also, for some reason, I put my suit in. My, my, a nice dress suit. And I was like a great dresser, it was nice navy blue. And I put it in with these colorful Hawaiian shirts. And when I took it out with all the bleach completely soaked into it, somehow all the colors were matching. So I had this great navy blue jacket from Brooks Brothers, mind you, three hundred dollars or something, some some ridiculous price like that, completely soaked in these tropical tropical colors. And I just remember, yeah, it's gonna take about a few years until I can be really independent. I from that that was a that was a revelation in my time in which I realized how dependent I was on my parents and how grateful I was to them <laughs> um, for doing something as seemingly mundane as doing my laundry. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you. And 
something that I loved to do in my free time would be to go out with a Ralph's bag and to go collect all the oranges. There's grapefruits and lemons and oranges and avocados and nectarines and apples in my neighborhood. And I would collect the bag and then I would take it home. I would put it in a juicer and make homemade mixed juices. Mm, nice. So this smells exactly like the type of juice I would make. And the best part was sharing it. And I'd go around the neighborhood and I would ask if anyone wants some. And being the gregarious young child that I was, people really couldn't say no to me. So I got a lot of people to buy into my juice. And I could have been maybe a juice maker today, but I decided not to. So. <laughs>
But I was gregarious, so I was thinking, you know, I could always uh, be daring and jump into the, the void. I remember one time where I ran to the end of the hallway and then ran back. But I remember that was the smell that I always smelled from both that cabin in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and Newcastle, Tennessee. Thank you very much. Yeah. 